name is Martin, I am a German designer and custom painter and we are here in the E2E Paint booth. During the next three days I'd like to show you a color switch of this Cervelo R5 carbon fiber cycle frame. I'd like to change this old design to a new one in matte with gloss logo typing. I'd like to show you how I remove this old design, how I create stencils with the graphic software, and how I spray on the new colors in matte and gloss on this carbon fiber cycle frame. At first, I have to send the whole frame with a wet and dry paper to remove the old design. This takes three to seven hours to send the whole frame. I also have to send the fork. Sending is necessary to get a clean and smooth surface before I can apply the new color. The whole frame set is sanded, masked and prepared for the new paint. Now I spray on a solid black on all the areas that will be glossed when this frame is ready painted. I like to give this frame a little personal touch, so I spray on the owner's name and a little German flag on the top tube. In order to protect the glossy graphics and logos, I have to create stencils with a graphic software, which can also create vector data to cut these stencils with a sign maker. Here I have a picture of a ready painted Cervelo carbon fiber cycle frame with the original measurements. Now I have to copy all these frame measurements to my graphic software. Here you can see the measurements shown in grey. With these grey measurements, I can create my stencils, here shown in yellow. Now I put all these yellow stencils in a new file to send them to the sign maker. I send this new file to the sign maker, which cuts the stencils into the masking tape. And that's it. Before I can spray on some more layers of black color and a matte clear coat, I have to stick on all the logos I cut it out with my sign maker. After sticking on all the logos, I have to send the frame again to prepare it for the next layers of the black color. The stencils will protect all the glossy areas from the overspray of the metallic black and the matte clear coat. When all the paintwork is done, I can remove these stencils and what I get is a glossy logo typing and glossy graphics on the frame. It is necessary to send the whole frame between each layer of clear coat, so I get a sticky surface for the next layers of color. If I forget to send the frame, the next layer of clear coat will peel off and this can ruin my whole paint job. It takes nearly an hour to send all the glossy areas on the frame with the red and dry paper. The frame set is prepared for the last layers of color and matte clear coat. At first, I spray on the black with some metallic and pearl in it to get a shiny surface. This turns out very nice in the sunlight. The black has to dry a half an hour and after drying, I can spray on the matte clear coat.
The frame set is ready painted. Now I have to remove the stencils to get the glossy graphics. Let's check the weight of the new painted frame set. The weight including the original paint was 754.3 gram for the frame, 308.6 gram for the fork and 1062.9 gram for the complete frame set. The weight including the lightweight E2E paint is now 740.1 gram for the frame, 305.5 gram for the fork and 1045.6 gram for the complete frame set. Now the frame set weighs 17.3 gram less than before our new paint job. Thank <laughs> you.